Hello friends, welcome to this video series. Are you planning for your CCNA routing switching certification? Do you, are you confused about which book to prefer for CCNA routing switching? Today we are here with, with Sudhanshu. Sudhanshu, welcome to this video series. So, Suen, they have a lot of confusion whenever they start to prepare for CCNA routing switching certification. Okay, which book to prefer, which is the best book to prepare for CCNA routing switching certification. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to answer this question today, like which are the best recommended books for candidate those who are planning for CCNA routing and switching certification. Okay. Uh, see, uh, there are many books available for CCNA routing switching and uh, to begin with like uh, personally when I did my CCNA I had uh, gone through three of them. Okay. I don't recommend you know uh, you to go through multiple but like Cisco Press is kind of you know what's the best for beginners. Okay. Uh, for beginners, uh, there is a Cisco Press official certification guide as in ICMD1, ICMD2. They have divided it in two parts. Uh, so it's a two books set uh, that people go for. And uh, for beginners, I recommend that because, you know, it, it doesn't take in uh, consideration a lot of stuff that you already know. It starts from uh, the Wendell Auden, the author. He's like, you know, genius in the way he explains things. Uh, the the tone of book what you'll find there interesting is like you know the way the author writes it is he'll write something in a paragraph explain it and the you know the gist of it he'll make a table just below that paragraph so you know it's very easy to revise it later okay so uh, that is uh, a good book to begin for a beginner uh, there is another book uh, you know uh, by Cybex this is uh, Todd Lamley that is available but Generally speaking, I don't recommend Todd Lemley to begin with, okay? It's a good book, uh, which you can consider as a second, uh, you know, second reading. Alternative. Yeah, a second reading if okay. you are in more interested into reading. Uh, why I'm telling that is like the way the book starts, it assumes you know uh, some things and like on the second page itself, there will be some discussions about MAC address and collision domain, broadcast domain and sometimes it becomes overwhelming, okay? Uh, if you are getting trained from a trainer properly in a classroom training environment, if you are following that, maybe then you can, you know, uh, read and uh, go ahead with Todd Lamley. But still, I would say Cisco Press is, you know, kind of uh, the official certification guide is the best book to begin with. And uh, moreover, uh, if you want to like, you know, really prepare for certification, sometimes it's hard to, you know, uh, understand like what what's the kind of practicals that I mm -hmm. do uh, that should I do okay so uh, for that basically you know we faced a lot of issues here at iMedita uh, like students they were like okay you know you showed us practical now what do we do in lab so uh, we have made a workbook okay uh, the lab workbook contains all the practicals like in a proper order like you can go uh, from start to end uh, step by step into the lab if you just follow from start to end the instructions and the things that you do in the lab uh, you will be good to go with almost 99% uh, of the labs required in CCNA routing switching and like you know there is simulation uh, questions in CCNS you will be good for that okay uh, apart from that uh, sometimes people re uh, require like uh, you know uh, a kind of a command reference guide as in you know this command does this this so, uh, there's a book again by Cisco Press, uh, Scott Empson is the author, uh, CCNA Portable Command Guide. Okay, And if you look at that book, uh, it doesn't contain a lot of theory, it's it's a very small book, a very thin book. It just contains uh, things about like, you know, this command does this thing. Okay, So, it's kind of a command reference, all the commands that a person should remember. Okay, uh, Sometimes people like to do and uh, do it manually, they create it in their own notes. But uh, it's a good book to read uh, for, you know, remembering the commands. Uh, lastly, there is one more book, 31 Days Before CCNA, okay, uh, by Ellen Johnson, uh, okay, if I remember correctly. Uh, that book, uh, the tone of that book is very soft in terms of like, you know, it's kind of like somebody, you know, uh, writing a story about a person. Like, okay, you know, this should be done, then this should be done. So... Uh, that's also a good book to read if you are planning for certification. Okay. okay. So uh, these are kind of uh, the good reads. I'm not saying right read all of them. Stick to one book. Yeah, stick to one book and preferably if you just stick to official certification guide, the Cisco Press official certification guide, you should be good to go. 
प्लस यू कैन हैव अ लैब गाइड ओके टू कंक्लूड द वीडियो ओके कैन वी जस्ट मेंशन द बुक्स इन सीक्वेंस ऑर्डर यू सेड लाइक फर्स्ट आईसीएनडी 1 2 अ कॉम्बो फॉर सीसीएनए ऑफिशियल सिस्को प्रेस ऑफिशियल सिस्को प्रेस बाय वेंडल ऑर्डर ओके ऑथर वेंडल ऑर्डर ओके देन द सेकंड देयर इज टॉड लैमले not necessary to begin with okay, okay. Uh, third there is uh, you know there is lab guide which we have made i uh, made a lab workbook yeah. okay uh, yeah that lab workbook uh, then fourth you can uh, go ahead with scott emson's book of ccna portable command guide it's just command guide okay and lastly there is uh, 31 days before your ccna that's again a small book just explaining day wise like how should you prepare Okay, so these five book you recommend for candidate those who are planning for CCN and routing switching certification. Yeah. So we hope if you stick to these books, you'll be able to pass the certification in first attempt and get in-depth knowledge of CCN and routing switching. Thank you, Sudanshu, for sharing deep insights for this particular book. Thank you. Always thanks.